Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, today we're going to be doing something that everyone has requested for a long time. Now, uh, this is, as you probably see in front of me, um, Roblox Studio. Now, we are going to be going over how to set up Lua and how the Roblox Studio works inside of Roblox. So, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go over what all of this in the Explorer means. Now, uh, first of all, the Explorer is um, where the core, like the the setup of a game is. Like with HTML, when we had the exclamation mark, this is basically that. This is where these are all the sections where you put all your code or all your objects that you want to be inside of the game. So for programming, there's a main area where you can see over here, which is called server script service. Now, um, this just, it codes doesn't, uh, code doesn't have to go inside of the server script service. There are other places it can go, such as say I create a part here. I can go over here and I can go insert object and you can see I can insert a script. Now, we're not going to be going over building or creating objects inside of uh, Roblox Studio, but we're going to be going over the uh, programming side. Okay, so now we know what the server script service means, let's go up to the workspace. Now, the workspace, as you can see, is where everything goes. So everything that you actually see in front of you is going to go inside of the workspace. So uh, here's a part, basically, and I can remove that, and you can see the part gets disappeared from uh, my uh, base plate. Now, players is where you control their properties, so like such as respawn time down here. So this is the properties window. This is where you have where you can edit all the uh, items that aren't edited inside of a script. And you can see over here, these are all the things that you can do inside of the players with nothing inside of it. Now, lighting is uh, very good inside of uh, Roblox for building and uh, setting the mood in your side of your game. So uh, we are going to be, well, we're not going to be, but you can see that um, if I was to change some of these properties over here, it would change the lighting inside. So you can do like, make it so that over here, the sun has like beams and all this kind of stuff. So basically changing the atmosphere and the lighting is done inside of the lighting tag. Okay, so now onto something a little bit more advanced, and that is the replicated first. Now, the replicated first is where um, it's the data that gets put, uh, that gets replicated into all of the players, and it's first before everything else. Now, the replicated storage is where everything is saved, and then you can access. Uh, that stuff later. So you can put items such as I used it in, in one of my games where you have like a sword inside of that. And then when they buy something in the item shop or they buy something in a shop, uh, it will take the sword from the replicated storage and bring it into their uh, inventory. Okay, so now into the server storage. The server storage is where it's a container basically, where it's uh, context, uh, uh, contents are only accessible on the server, and this can be accessed through a local script. Now, the starter GUI is basically where everything goes that you will see in front of you. So, like, some in, in some games, you have uh, things like um, the amount of coins you have, uh, like if you're playing a simulator, that would be the the place that you see in the, your corner of your screen would be in the starter GUI. Now, the starter pack is where all the tools go. So like I was talking about with the replicated storage, uh, that sword would have been brought from the replicated storage down into the swords. Oh, not down into the swords, but down into the starter pack. Now, the starter player is what the player looks like. So we have the player's properties such as um, the force field, how long does their force field stay on for, or if they even have a force field up in the players, but their actual appearance is done in starter player and also their camera mode and things like that. Sound service is basically what it sounds like. It controls the um, 
sound that the player gets. The chat is controlling the actual chat, the in-game chat. That's all you really need to know about inside of the Explorer. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so now we've gone over everything, we can say how you actually import the script. So I'm going to give an example in the server script service, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to go insert object, and you click on insert object. Okay, so inside here you can see we have script. Now this is how you import the script, and now you can see we have our simple script. And also something to know, print hello world is the exact same inside of python just a random fact out there okay so this is the end guys uh there probably will be more lua tutorials i know it's been uh frequently asked so um we will do more lua tutorials soon and proper getting into the program this was basically just setting it up and starting